Hyatt from UWA Local 601 about two months ago. And she was one of the people who helped groom me in the union. Wow. And she was the mother of our struggle in the union. And she helped groom so many of us to make us union leaders that we are today. That lady right there is Cecile Hepburn. I love her dearly. And we have a saying in the union, one vein, one blood, one union. And when you hurt a part of my union, you hurt me. When you hurt something that belongs to my union, you're taking something away from me. When you kill something that belongs to somebody from my union, goddamn, you kill killing something that belongs to me. So I'm very hurt today. I'm very upset right now that her grandson is gone, 23, year old, 23 years old, and has not lived his life yet. That his father Andre does not have his son anymore. That his uncle Devin does not have his nephew anymore. And his aunt Tish who stepped out, she doesn't have a nephew anymore. It's hurting to me. It's disturbing. I just, the family is here. I don't want to take up no time, but I think they need to come up and tell their story. I think Cecile needs to come up and tell her story. But I'm going to ask one thing. They're here because they want our support. And I'm asking you, as a member of POP, that you give them, their, give them some support. Give me some support because something has happened to me and a part has been taken away from me because it's been taken away from Cecile, Devin, Andre, and Tish. So can I ask that POP will give this family their support? Cecil um, and John Zane, please come up and talk to the people and ask them, uh, you know, what you want of them today. And just remember, one blade, one vein, one blood, one union.
whole thing is the young man that was with him knows his name. You know his first name, second name, and where he lived. But they took him to the hospital as a John Doe. When I called the state police, they said we have a John Doe, but we can't say who he is. Well, you did know who he was. When we ran around here searching, looking, trying to get answers, because someone told us that he had been shot. Nobody had anything. Hackensack Hospital was nasty. Uh, I can't give you that information. Um, it's just a John Doe, miss. It's just a John Doe. Well, there's no such thing as a John Doe. Everybody has a name. No matter what it is, you have a name. We got nothing. We went afterwards to try to get answers, try to get reports. We weren't able to get anything but doors closed in our face. And again, I'm saying we are looking for closure. I'm not going to sit here and say yes, that Shop was innocent. I don't know what happened. I wasn't there. But I do know from one of the gentlemen that posted a video that towards the end of it, what he stated was, oh, he's moving. He got out the car. But he was talking about the passenger. After that, you hear four shots. So I'm confused. If it was five in the beginning that he didn't get on his video, and then another four, what was the purpose? What was the purpose in putting that many bullets and one person that wasn't moving anyway? So I, I'm looking for a direction, um, what we need to do with support and help from the right people to show us the way and guide us into how do we get these doors open, how do we get the answers to these, so that as a family, we can have closure to what happened to my grandson and my brother. Love them. We don't know which way to go. Every door we all try to open has been closed in our face. So, at this point, I believe, you know, brother, yeah. They won't give they will not they will not give us any police reports. Um the guy that was with my brother, he said they held him for twenty four hours at the state trooper um station station in Newark. Um he, he basically told them they basically told him if he do not cooperate with them that they were going to pin my brother murder on him. The murder was going to be pinned on him. So um like, he's just able to call yesterday, he called his fiance. But he was there, you know, for 24 hours at the state he was. You said it involved the women person, the police, and the state trooper? Yes, yes. Because I would think, although I know you said that they don't want to give it to you, but I would still kind of get reports from both of them, the state trooper, and the police. And also, there might be to be some kind of, um, the medical report. I mean, I'm sure somebody had to be called when you know, the accident happened. No, no one was notified. Um, I actually, I contacted Hackensack Medical Center myself. Um, they told me they could not give me anything without a, like the surrogate. Um, so basically, I called the surrogate's office um, in Bergen County. They told me I have to call Exus County because he's a resident in Texas County. Um, I gave them a call in Texas County. They told me that I had to have his death certificate first. Um, so the death certificate is being worked on.
Vice Chairman Adams, you were going to uh, make a motion earlier. Oh. That move that People's Organization for Progress uh, support this family in their efforts to seek justice for their assassinated son. Second. Second. I second by Lee Herbert. Moved by Vice Chairman Adams, seconded by Lee Herbert. Discussion on the motion? There ain't no discussion together, Vice Chairman. I obviously think the motion is, is in the proper tradition and is the correct way for us to go. I think that in addition to the, um, I, I don't know if it's appropriate now or after the motion, but that what we can provide is boots on the ground. Soldiers to raise the political climate. Because regardless of whether there was criminal activity or not, there was criminal activity on both sides of this. Maybe they were in a stolen car, but that doesn't justify execution. Yes. And that's what's happening. Right. Right. So that we have to expose this as execution, not only for the individual demand justice, not only for the victim, but for ourselves and our people. Yes, what do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! If there ain't gonna be no justice! If there ain't gonna be no justice! If there ain't gonna be no justice, if there ain't gonna be no peace,